Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my CP item analysis videos. We're going to primarily look at the two new items, but we're also going to check out Broken Myth at the end and look at some maths behind it. Now these are the overviews of the five, you know, the major CP item changes anyway. Uh, like I said, going to primarily focus on the new items. So let's start off with Dragon's Eye. 85 CP, every second that you're in combat you generate one stack, gen granting you 20 crystal power all the way up to 9 stacks. If you don't attack anybody within 2.5 seconds you lose 3 stacks at a time, so it's pretty unforgiving if you get out of combat, unlike Broken Myth which was actually a little bit more forgiving between the stacks dropping. Now you need to be constantly damaging enemies, like I said, every 2.5 seconds. And any damage source counts, including basic attacks, including abilities, including weapon power damage, any kind of damage source, just like Broken Myth counts. So uh, you can you know, literally do anything as long as you're in combat with the enemy every second. Now this item, as it stands, is essentially the new Broken Myth item. Um, there's no stacks on Broken Myth anymore, and it favours high CP scaling ratio carries, but in general it's very versatile, and it's a pretty good CP item all round. The best comparison that we have for it is against Shatterglass. The Shatterglass gives you 150 crystal power, and then you compare it to this, which the minimum crystal power is 85, and the maximum crystal power is 265. You need at least four stacks on Dragon's Eye to make it better than a Shatterglass. So four stacks, four seconds in combat, and you need to maintain above that in a fight to make it better than Shatterglass. So it's better for elongated fights, and it's worse if you're just trying to burst early on or poke from range, because you're just not going to get the efficiency from it if you're playing uh, a non-committed poke game, unless you're the likes of Scarf or Celeste, where you can poke from range every 2.5 seconds anyway. Now, it costs exactly the same as Shatterglass, it's 3,000 gold, so if we take that ratio of 0 0.5 ability power to 10 gold, which is what Shatterglass is worth, at max stacks, this item has a gold efficiency of 177%. It's roughly worth about 5,300 gold if we're using the same formula as Shatterglass. So you're getting a lot of gold for your money, or gold efficiency for your money, if you can stack this item in a team fight. And the CP scaling actually affects all abilities of the CP ratio, including healing abilities like Ozo's Heal. Any CP ratio benefits from this item, not just damaging abilities like the old Broken Myth. So that makes this item a bit more versatile um, where you want to pick it up. It, it literally affects anything with a CP scaling ratio, and that even means utility too. So Lance's stuns will get longer, you know, Kestrel's active camo will get longer. Anything with a CP scaling ratio gets affected by this item. So it's actually very versatile, and actually I genuinely really like this item. I think it will be included in a lot of CP uh, carries items and builds it definitely freshens up the cp build paths a bit and makes them a bit more diverse um, these are a couple of the heroes that i have used and had success with this item so um, guys you feel free to experiment and and go further but honestly if you feel like you're going to be in combat consistently and you're able to maintain stacks, pick this item over Shatterglass every time. If you're just looking to be a bit non-committed and you're not um, so confident in your ability to maintain skill shots or, or sort of keep in combat, Shatterglass is probably going to work out better for you. On the flip side, let's look at Spellfire, 90 CP, and dealing damage with crystal abilities, abilities being the key word, deals 100% of your CP over 4 seconds as damage. So what you actually get is 12.5% of your current crystal power every 0.5 seconds for 4 seconds after you land an ability dealing crystal damage. Any extra damage will simply refresh the duration, so the damage from Spellfire does not stack. That's really important to note, you can't spam abilities and expect to get the enemy burning to death with Spellfire, because all it does is refresh the duration. Things like Idris' basic attacks, alternating current, damage, do not apply the Spellfire passive. It must come from an ability. Really important to note, it must come from an ability. So it has to be coming from things like Heliogenesis or Spitfire. And it definitely favours long-range poke-style heroes that have a lot of CP in their build. It's not an early game item. Let me reiterate, this is not an early game item. This needs to be your third or fourth CP item if you're going to build it at all. I don't think this is a great item. 
I genuinely don't think it's a fantastic item. I think it has its uses in certain compositions, but it's a bit more niche than Dragon's Eye, and I think we'll see it built less, but I'll have to see. Um, it does favor poke-style heroes, though, so if poke-style heroes like Scarf, Celeste, CP Gwen, that kind of thing, uh, play with a lot of disengage, this might actually favor them if they can poke from range without having to commit to a fight. It also doesn't build Dragon's Eye stack, so it's probably one of the only sources of damage that doesn't maintain combat and doesn't build Dragon Eye, Dragon's Eye stack. So you can't combo Dragon's Eye and Spellfire together for some ridiculously OP combo. Now, I've been having mixed success with this item, but I found that CP Blackfeather works quite well with it. Scarf, Celeste, Sky, even with her forward barrage, you just need to tag them with your forward barrage to get the benefit of this item. And actually, CP Gwen, because she can spam Buckshot from range, it's very non-committed the way that she does it and also because of the slow on buckshot it means it's the enemy finds it difficult to try and capitalize and try and collapse on her as well so i uh, go and test it out but i don't like that item really as much as dragon's eye i think dragon's eye a lot is a lot more versatile so I told you we we're going to compare Broken Myth. We're going to compare Broken Myth on Celeste specifically because obviously CP affects heroes in different ways depending on their base damages and their scalings. I like to use Celeste because her Heliogenesis has a 90% CP ratio on the first hit and a 220 CP ratio on Supernova, meaning that we've got a nice mix of scaling there, so we're going to get a, a nice full picture between the two. We're going to compare builds of Eve of Harvest and Shattered Glass versus Broken Myth and Eve of Harvest. And you can see the CP values at the top. We're comparing it against the shielding values that you can see down the side there. And you can see at roughly 100 shield or so, somewhere between 50 and 120, Broken Myth starts to get on par with um, Shattered Glass. So basically, if anybody buys Tier 2 shielding, you're going to see a benefit from Broken Myth early on in your build with the lowest CP it scaling item as well, Eve of Harvest. It's got the lowest CP in the game. When it comes to the Supernova, however, you can see that it's a lot harder for Broken Myth to start out scaling because, again, obviously, the more CP you have, uh, especially early on, the better it does with scaling abilities like the Supernova damage. If you look and add a Frostburn to the build, so we're going to equalize out the high CP ratios a bit, you'll notice the Broken Myth starts to come back in on the higher scaling CP ratios. So in conclusion, what I can say about Broken Myth is on low scaling CP abilities, it's better early on. So I think people like Rhyme will make good use of Broken Myth early on, even against low shielding values. Higher CP scaling early on will not benefit from a Broken Myth, but as the game progresses and we get to three or four item builds, Broken Myth almost becomes a necessity. Even against lower shielding, it has its strength. So Broken Myth, very, very good item right now. Definitely consider it in your CP builds. See you soon.